In this lesson, we will describe the information processing cycle. This is the user, who is also known as a liveware. The user inputs data into the computer through the keyboard. The computer uses software to process data into information. Software refers to the programs that have been installed in the computer. The output in the format of soft copies displayed on the monitor, also known as the screen, this result is stored within the computer. The user can print out a hard copy format of the output. The user can store copies of the processed results in a secondary storage device such as a flash disk, a compact disk, or digital versatile disk. To understand how a computer functions it is important to understand the information processing cycle. The information processing cycle refers to the chain or the cycle of events that take place when you use a computer to do some work. The information processing cycle comprises the following events 1. Input. This is the activity of entering data into the computer. 2. Processing. This refers to the activity of performing operations on the data. 3. Output. This is the activity that presents the results to the computer user. And 4. Storage. This refers to the activity of saving data, programs, or output for future use. Storage in a computer can be within the computer, or in an external storage device such as a portable hard disk, a flash disk, a compact disc, CD, or a digital versatile disc, DVD. The events of input, processing, output, and storage work together, and are repeated over and over. The information processing cycle can be likened to the process of fresh fruit juice preparation. The input are the fruits. The processing is carried out by the blender. The output is the fruit juice. The juice can be stored in a bottle or in a jar for future use. 